All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video, and here we have the AGL Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. So, since the Saiyan Day celebration is very, you know, Vegeta-centric, uh, I figured I would go ahead and rainbow a couple of the Super Saiyan Blue Vegetas that I never really gave a lot of time to. Uh, the AGL one, specifically, and then also the STR uh, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. Yep, there, that guy right there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and rainbow both of these guys. Uh, we'll do videos on them, see how strong they can be, uh, and then I'm going to do a video where I take a look at all the Super Saiyan Blue Vegetas uh, in one video, similar to what I did uh, with the Super Saiyan Blue Gokus, and then also like Ultimate Gohans. Uh, but most of these videos have been done uh, on like you know the Vegeta and Goku's lineage category teams, because again, like they're you know as we've seen throughout these numerous videos on units. They're just the best places uh, to show off a lot of these units. It's just how it is. So, uh, okay. Now, let's just go ahead and test out this guy. Uh, he is on four different category teams. Uh, and all four of them are at least a 150% lead. So, all four of them are pretty good teams. All right, guys. So, we are over here on the Realm of Gods team. And we're in the Harutagarn event. Which, you know, is such a meme event. But, literally the first rotation. And we're pretty much exactly... Uh, where I want it to be. So, this blue Vegeta is enhanced, of course, greatly by the Super Saiyan God Vegeta. Uh, he was just a fantastic unit to come out to uh, help optimize a lot of the Super Saiyan Blue Vegetas, right? He can uh, open up a lot of their links. Um, so, we'll, you know, we can go ahead and use him. Uh, there also is, like, you know, a lot of the Super Saiyan Blue Gokus that you could use. Uh, specifically, like, the AGL Blue Goku from the Resurrection F movie. Uh, you know, because they will share Super God Combat and Resurrection F. Those are the two links that are, you know, pretty much uh, exclusive to those Resurrection F characters. Uh, I mean, we could rock that, uh, like, here on the Realm of Gods team. It's not really the biggest deal, though, because... Like, Blue Vegeta, his best attack set is definitely going to be on the uh, Vegeta's family team with LRB pin. Okay, so there is over a million. Uh, that's with, what does he have? So he has Fierce Battle active. Uh, and then, you know, he's also got the 40% from AGL West Kai. But still, that's, that's not bad. Again, you know, I, I think, you know, units that are able to get a million are definitely good. But here's the thing. This Blue Vegeta also does give himself 80% defense when he does a super attack. So he's still quite good. Like, like he's definitely a very, very solid unit. Uh, we'll go ahead and get one more rotation uh, where we can activate a whole bunch of his links, right? Because, uh, you know, then once we get God Vegeta linked up with him, at that point, he'll get Super Saiyan, Warrior Gods, and Prodigies, you know, all, all links that God Vegeta has got. Uh, God Vegeta, of course, a tremendous, tremendous unit. Uh, I just, man, you know, going through the uh, Father, Son, Galakun EZA, it really did make me, like, realize, like, damn, would would that Vegeta have just been absolutely busted if his guard ability would activate, like, 100% of the time? Rather than the 50% chance, if it was 100%, woohoo! Boy, would that guy Vegeta just be nutso. Um, okay, so this is a really good rotation for Blue Vegeta right here. Uh, having God Vegeta activates a lot of his links, and, of course, we've got EGL, Western, Supreme Kai giving the 40% attack. So let's see, God Vegeta, well, Blue Vegeta gets up to 1.28. Definitely a very solid number when you consider his strong defense as well, right? And then there's the difference, you know, God Vegeta up at like 1.52. Uh, you know, God Vegeta is an, an exceptional card. So, all right, that's not bad. That's not bad uh, here on the Realm of God's team. I, I was pretty impressed uh, with what we've seen from them so far. So uh, let's go ahead and move on to another team. Uh, he's on the pure Saiyan team, which is also a 150% team. I guess we'll knock that out, and then we'll move over to the 170% teams. All right, guys, so now we're over here on the pure Saiyan team. Uh, and we've got Blue Vegeta on this rotation with uh, Turles and Broly and Paragus. This wasn't, you know, th this is just like, you know, right here at the start of the fight. This wasn't really what I was going for, but sure, you know, th this will be an interesting little rotation to see. Uh, Blue Vegeta obviously will be getting a ton of support. Uh, okay, I, I was curious if he gets supered before he supered. Uh, wow, yeah, he's up to 1.3 million right there with the double 40% support units. Uh, typically, units can look pretty good uh, on that sort of rotation. I think I'm probably going to do uh, another video just, like, on this Pure Saiyan team in general, like, just sort of going over, like, several of the combinations of teams and units you can use. Because, like, I would say 
that transforming Vegeta would maybe have like the most benefit to free to play players out there. Like really the two like leader units who are just like exquisite for free to play players is this transforming Vegeta. And then there's also uh, the LR Goku trunks and pan card uh, because they are the leader for the Seekers of the Dragon Ball team, which is littered with top tier free to play units. So, you know, it, you anyone can build a good Dragon Ball Seeker team, especially because so much of it is predicated around the actual LR themselves. So you get them and you're good to go. So uh, I, I was, you know, thinking about doing uh, a video talking about those two teams specifically. Uh, the Pure Saiyan category one, I'll probably get to uh, pretty quickly here. Um, okay, so now we'll go ahead and have another rotation. Uh, I guess we could link up... Yeah, we could actually just keep this exactly like this right here. Uh, that way we'll have uh, the blue Vegeta, you know, sort of getting some good links. Uh, plus, he's also got Turles around. You know, usually when I'm on the... I'm not really too concerned with completely, absolutely maximizing, optimizing the best possible attack set. Like, when I'm going through these videos on a lot of the teams, like... On some of them, I'm just okay looking at, like, a general idea of where he can hit. Uh, like, I actually had someone say, like, uh, you know, could you do these without support type units? And I was like, well, the only thing is that, like, running support type units is, like, very important. Like, I always put support type units, like, I'm, like even when I'm just going through events myself, like Turles or Bra. Oh, fuck, yeah, they're always on the team. Or, you know, maybe if I'm not running Turles, maybe, you know, instead I'll decide to run, you know, Broly and Paragus. And uh, the dude replied, and he was like, oh, yeah, usually I don't run sport units because they get hit so hard. And see, that's the thing with me. Now, obviously, like, I got a lot of orbs from the world tournament, right? So people, you know, maybe you can't emulate getting, like, a top 100 finish and stuff to get a ton of extra orbs. But, like, I w don't have a problem in rainbowing support type units if I'm going to use them, right? If I'm going to use a unit, I'll rainbow them. I feel like... People may be a little too hesitant to put orbs into units nowadays, especially with how many orbs are given out during celebrations and stuff like that. I think the thing maybe uh, that is a little bit of an issue that people have is they might dump like 55% orbs into like every single unit. Typically, I don't do that, right? Like I'll leave units at like 1% uh, if I'm not going to use them very often. Uh, that's, that's, you know, that, that's kind of what happens. Um, but okay, I, I feel like we've, we've probably looked uh, well enough at... Well, I guess we could do this one more rotation uh, with the double transforming Vegetas right here. Because this will be blue Vegeta uh, with no support on the rotation. So uh, this could be a good rotation to see. Um, I'm going to have Vegeta do this right here. And then I'm going to use a launch item. Just because I want to make sure that uh, transforming Vegeta does not take uh, the Super Saiyan 4 Goku out. So, okay, so this is, again, this is a good rotation right here, because we'll see what Blue Vegeta can do without a support type unit, and he's at 850,000, okay, so that is a big drop-off. One reason Blue Vegeta specifically has such a big drop-off is because his attack buff is on super attack, so they always get just massive buffs from support type units when it's, uh, you know, the buff is on performing super attack, but, um, okay, so at this point... Let's go ahead and switch over to the movie hero team, the blue Gogeta team, uh, which is going to be very good for this Vegeta because he'll be able to, you know, link up with, like, that Resurrection F Goku. Although, I mean, we, we could have done it on the Pure Saiyan team, the Realm of Gods team. Uh, that Resurrection F Goku really can be used on any of this Vegeta's category teams except for his best team, the Vegeta family team. All right, guys, so we're over here on the movie hero slash fusion team where I have got the setup we want for next turn, which is, of course, uh, Blue Goku, Blue Vegeta, and Pandel. Now, one thing we really need is a stronger support type unit. For really, both of these categories, Fusion and Movie Hero, needs like a 40%, you know, like, let's, I don't know, let's say a base form Gotenks that gives 40% attack and defense to Fusion, or a base form Gogeta that gives 40% to, uh, you know, uh, Fusion. And then we could also really could use a movie hero character. I think that would be the perfect way to implement a really good, like, Krillin card. You know, uh, some Krillin from one of the movies who's like a 40% movie hero uh, category uh, support type unit, I think would be a very, very strong idea. Now, the reason we're on this rotation, of course, uh, LR Great Saiyan 1 and 2 actually give a two-turn attack buff uh, when they get their 18 key super. 
So, what we're going to do is, of course, get LR Great Salmon 1 and 2, their 18 key super. Uh, and then, of course, that'll give a slight buff uh, to Vegeta on the next turn. And we'll be able to see what he could do on this movie hero team, you know, with Pandel and Blue Goku. Of course, this Vegeta and Goku, they share uh, Super Saiyan, so that's 10%. Warrior Gods, that's 20%. Super God Combat is 15%, so now they're at 35% attack. Then they got Fierce Battle, which is 50% attack. And they also have Resurrection F, which is a 700 attack link. And Prepared for Battle, that key link. So they have almost the same link set. Uh, they'll work very, very well together. So, boom. There we go. We've got them set up. I guess we could just have Vegeta in the first slot. Uh, and we'll go ahead and see what kind of damage uh, these two units will be able to cook up together. Uh, here on the Movie Hero slash Fusion team. So, let's see what our boy Blue Vegeta... Ooh, perfect. So, again, Blue Vegeta gets his defense on super attack. So, this, he'll get hit a lot harder before he supers and after. 1.44, not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, and then what will Goku get up to? I'm just curious. He's at 1.75. Yeah, okay. But Goku does not have defense, right? They've done that a lot with cards in the past where they'll give Vegeta kind of like, you know, good attack and defense. And then they've given Goku just straight attack. You know, think of uh, SDR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and AGL Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Same thing where, you know, they gave Goku a lot of attack and then they gave Vegeta uh, the defense. Actually, you could even say the same thing with uh, the LR Super Saiyan 4s, right? Where Goku has the 80% attack buff at the start, and then Vegeta has the 80% defensive buff at the start. But, okay. Uh, at this point, let's go ahead and switch over to the uh, Vegeta's family team. Uh, which, of course, is, you know, pretty much the, the best team for, like, all Vegeta units. Uh, and we'll be able to see, you know, how much damage this blue Vegeta can do on his best rotation. Which I believe would be uh, God Vegeta, Blue Vegeta, and then, of course, LRB Pan. What's new? Alright, guys. So, we are here on the Vegeta's family team. Uh, this is definitely going to be where we will be able to see probably the best out of Blue Vegeta here. So... Let's go ahead and let our boy Blue Vegeta get busy here, and uh, we'll see how much damage he can do, you know, with a lot of these links active. You know, Super Saiyan, Warrior Gods, Prodigy, Fierce Battle, all active. Uh, and then we, you know, have LRB Pan with her active skill, of course, giving a massive buff. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see, like, if they're going to give us another, like, you know, free-to-play units with an active skill anytime soon. Because, I mean, again, these active skill units are, you know, quite broken. Uh, if they're going to treat the active skill mechanic, anything like the transformation mechanic, there's no guarantee we're going to get a lot more active skill characters soon. Uh, and Vegeta gets up to 1.33 million on the Vegeta family team. LRB pan around as well as God Vegeta. So there we go. Uh, this Vegeta is a pretty solid mix of offense and defense. So like, I don't know, a lot of people probably had... Had this guy a long time ago, put orbs into him, you know, got him up to SA-10 or whatever. He can still be good, uh, even today, uh, if you have resources in him. He will still he can still be solid on, like, the Realm of Gods team or any of these teams, you know, because he does have an attack and defensive buff. So, you know, you could use him in, like, an EZA event, Dokkan Battlefield, something like that. He is good. Uh, someone did ask me to do a run-through of Dokkan Battlefield where I only use category teams. And, like, you know, that would be another good place for me to do that. Is like, you know, having all these blue Vegetas rainbowed. You know, I could use one of these guys on the Realm of Gods team. I could use another on the Vegeta's family team, the Pure Saiyan team. Uh, I just have to go ahead and build the teams uh, first uh, before I would do that. But that that's probably another video I'm going to have coming up soon. Is I'm going to go through the entirety of Dokkan Battlefield uh, with only category teams. So, uh, real quick. Let's finish up by taking a look at the AGL Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta from the Resurrection F film. Alright, so this is Determined to Evolve Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Vegeta, or Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. Uh, his leader skill is all types attack and defense plus 30%, so obviously that's not really too impressive there. Uh, his super attack is the Big Bang Attack, which does supreme damage to the enemy, not bad. Uh, his passive skill, Next Level of Saiyan Power gives him an attack and defensive buff of 80% when performing a super attack. So that will allow him to do some really good damage if there is a super, uh, if there is a, 
uh, support type unit around. Actually, now that I think about it, hmm. Blue Vegeta, because LRB Pan, she gives a massive buff to units who have start of turn attack buffs. So I'm going to finish out the breakdown for Vegeta. And if I'm going to go into another event and I'll probably test out, I might do like a, a Bra, LRB Pan, and then Blue Vegeta uh, as a rotation and just see. Uh, you know, if he's able to get a higher attack stat, because he actually might be able to. I just remembered that LRB Pan works best for uh, units to have attack at the start of turn, right? Uh, so his links are Super Saiyan, Warrior Gods, Prodigies, Super God Combat, Resurrection F, Prepared for Battle, and Fierce Battle. So he has a good link set. His Swoke Multiplier is 130%. Yeah, he's kind of old, and that's honestly not very great. I mean, this Vegeta came out on January 13th, 2017 for JP. So that's obviously very, very old. Uh, and then he also has uh, four category teams. Uh, you know, he's pretty good on all of them, though. Uh, the Realm of Gods team. He's also over here on the Pure Saiyan team, the largest category in the game, of course. Uh, then he's down here on the Movie Hero team. And then finally, he is on def probably definitely his best team, the Vegeta family team. So... Real quick, I, I just want to make sure that we can't get Vegeta a higher attack stat, and then we'll finish up the video here. Ah, yes, 1.53 million. Yep, okay, so I got to remember that about units that get an attack buff uh, on Super. It, you know, all of, like, all of Dokkan's history leading up to this, it's always been better if they've had a, uh, the buff when performing a Super attack, because, of course, support type units will further enhance it. But now, like, LRB Pan's just absolutely insane you know, active skill, hers is more beneficial if the unit does have a start of turn attack buff. So there we go. We are able to get much, much higher from that blue Vegeta. But all right, guys, we can go ahead and finish things up here uh, on the Vegeta's lineage or Vegeta, you know, lineage or Vegeta's family team, whatever we want to call it. Uh, this blue Vegeta is definitely still a solid unit. So thanks, guys, for watching, and I will catch y'all next time.